very good morning students today also we are going to continue the same chapter pair of linear equations in two variables in my last class we have completed that when the equations are given <coughs> by extracting the x and y value we have represented these x and y value on the graph in the graph we have seen that the given equation either it is a parallel or coincident or intersecting we have seen that after that we have also completed that by just by seeing the equation and by extracting the coefficients of x and y and constants by comparing with these coefficients we have found out uh, the given equation is uh, either intersecting or parallel or coincident lines so one problem we have completed yesterday and uh, today we are going to continue the same uh, <coughs> thing second uh, problem is there on the board let us see that the given equation uh, is either parallel or coincident or intersecting let us see that we know that we have to extract the coefficients of x that is a1 a2 and coefficients of y that is b1 b2 and the constant c1 c2 the value of these will be extracted and comparing with their ratio will uh, find out the given equation whether it is an intersecting or parallel or coincident let us see that come on see here it is given in the first equation see 9x plus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0 this is as a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 is equal to 0 here the value of a1 x is 9 the value of b1 that is uh, 3 and the value of c1 that is 12 and in the second equation that is 18x plus 6y plus 24 that is equal to 0 so this is as a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 the value of a2 here is 18 and b2 here is 6 and c2 is 24 so let us compare these coefficients of x so that is x and x x and x is x is a coefficient coefficient of x is 9 and 18 coefficients of y are 3 and uh, 6 and the c1 c2 these are the constants okay fine see a1 by a2 we have to compare the ratio b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 the value of a1 it is here 9 the value of a2 it is here 18 The value of B1 that is 3, the value of B2 that is 6, the value of C1 that is 12, the value of C2 that is 24. See, 9 ones are 9 twos are, 3 ones are 3 twos are, 4 ones are 4 twos are. So everything is equal. Here we have seen that everything is equal. We know the condition we have already seen in my last class that if a1 a2 is equal to b1 by b2 that is equal to c1 by 2 c1 by c2 then these kind of equations are coincident equations so you please recall it okay so this is the equation which is coincident on the right this is coincident pair of linear equations So we have solved second problem right now and we see one more problem thank you dear yeah, students this is the third problem same uh, comparison uh, we have to apply here also in third problem a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 you have to extract the coefficients and by comparing these coefficients we can come to know that whether the given equation is uh, coincident parallel or intersecting place come on let us see that See here, this is as a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0, a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. So this is x variable and this is y variable and these are the coefficients of x a1a2, these are the coefficients of y b1b2 b2, and constant c1c2. C2. See here also in the given question that the coefficients of x are 2 and 6. The coefficients of y are minus 3 and minus 1 and the constants 10 and 9. See here we have to compare a1 and a2. 
B1 and B2 and C1 and C2. So what is A1 here? It is 6. What is A2 here? It is 2. What is B1 here? That is minus 3. What is B2 here? That is minus 1. What is the value of C1? That is 10. What is the value of C2? That is 9. See here, I like uh, last problem, I have not written the value of uh, A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2 particularly. Directly I have taken here. You could understand this. Fine. See here, 6 by 2, 3 by 1 and 9 by 10 by 9. See, what happens here? 2 1s are, 2 3s are. So this is minus minus will get cancelled, that is 3 by 1. And this is equal to this and this is not equal to 10 by 9. 10 by 9. So let us recall the condition that if A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2, that is not equal to C1 by C2. It means that the given equations are parallel. Therefore, therefore, the given equation is parallel. Okay. If we draw by extracting x and y value on the graph, we can see that the two lines will be parallel lines. Obviously, without drawing the graph, just by exact extracting the coefficients of x and y and constants, we have concluded and finalized and uh, take on out that the given equation is parallel pair of linear equations. This is how we have to find out without seeing any kind of lines or graph, just by seeing the coefficients of x and y and constants, we can understand the given line is whether it is an intersecting line or a parallel line or a coincident line, we can easily find it out. This question will be there in your examination for two marks. Obviously, you have to read it carefully and you have to uh, <coughs> practice it carefully in the exercises. You solve all the exercises I have. I have shown you three kinds of uh, problems how to solve all remaining problems you need to solve there if you, if you didn't understand anywhere else in that uh, exercises obviously I will be there for you to assist you please carry on okay now, let's, uh, now let us go for the next concept thank you uh, dear students today we are going to continue the same pair of linear equations in two variables that we, we use algebraic method of solving pair of linear equations there are three types of algebraic methods so one is substitution method and uh, elimination method the third one is cross multiplication method in this algebraic met method of uh, pair of linear equations we are going to find out the value of x the solution for uh, the equation value of x and y we are going to find out so you can see that there are three kind of uh, algebraic uh, methods to find out the value of x among those i have taken one that is substitution method so here we have a problem let us solve it by solving many problems we will understand it very nicely solve the following pair of linear equation by substitution method what problem we have solved at first to draw a graph the same problem i have taken here to make you understand very good see here x minus 2y that is equal to 0 and 3x plus 4y that is equal to 20. This is the equation 1 and this is equation 2. See, by equation 1, by 1, x minus 2 that is equal to 0. This minus 2y will go there and it's going to become x is equal to 2y. Let us consider this is an equation 3. Let us apply this equation. 3 in 2 applying equation 3 in 2 so we get 3x plus 4y that is equal to 20 instead of this x I write 2y 3 into 2y plus 4y that is equal to 20 3 into 2y that is 6y plus 4y that is equal to 20 4y plus 6y that is 10y 10y is equal to 20 
This is substitution method. I have substituted the value of x here, that is 2y. In the place of x, I have substituted the value of y, so that we have found out x and y. This is the problem, very easy, like that many problems are there. I will uh, <coughs> write a problem on the board you please solve it now let us see how you are going to solve this yes uh, dear students we have the second problem what you need to do is that you just pause the video i mean stop the video and write down the question solve the following pair of linear equations by substitution with that you write down this question you know that how to solve this substitution algebraic method my last uh, problem what we have solved you have understood it by that knowledge you solve this thing okay okay i hope you could have solved it okay now let us uh, continue let us solve how it is see x plus 3y that is this is this is equation 1 2x minus 3y that is equal to 4 that is equation 2 take this x plus 3y is equal to 6. x is equal to 6 minus 3y. Let us call this as equation 3. Apply this equation 3 in 2. 2x minus 3y that is equal to 4. 2 into instead of this x, I write 6 minus 3y minus 3y that is equal to 4. 6 into 4 root 6 into 2 into 6 that is 4 root minus 2 into 3 that is 6 y minus 3 y that is equal to 4 root minus 6 y minus 3 y that is minus 9 y 4 root is that as it is 4 root so minus 9 y that is equal to 4 root minus 4 root see 9 y so minus 9 y Zero minus nine by twelve minus twelve that is zero. Therefore, y is equal to zero by minus nine. Y is equal to zero. So this is equation four. Apply this equation four in equation one. So in equation one, what is that? X plus three y that is equal to six. X plus three multiplied by the value of y that is zero is equal to six x plus 3 is 0, that is 0 is equal to 6. Therefore, x is equal to 6. The value of x is equal to 6 and the value of y that is equal to 0. So, these are the values of x and y. We have found out the value of x and y by the substitution method like this. There are many problems in the test book. Please solve it. Okay? And let us continue with the next concept. Thank you.